there are no neutral reactions to seeing snakes, to being near them. I probably saw my first snake at three and whatever feeling that I had then seems to be the same feeling that I have now, even though I know a heck of a lot more about them. Even as this animal that's just basically a head in a tube, the variation in that head in that tube, which sort of restricts you to the head and tube form, that variation in that is massive. So you can have some that are adults that are about this big and other ones that are adults that cross this entire room. Some that are adults that can only eat things like termites and some that are adults that can eat deer, okay? That's a pretty wide range of morphologies. I try to figure out how speciation occurs. So that is, how do you go from making having one species to making two species, right? And so, you know, the earth may be composed of anywhere from three to 17 million or more species, right? How did those all come about? To learn about these evolutionary processes, speciation, ecological change, and all these, you need a good group of organisms to study. You need an important group of organisms to study. And snakes, I think, provide a perfect model. They have lots of regional variation, lots of variation in ecology, in local areas. And so all of this stuff lives in the genome. Now with snakes, we're getting genomic level information and we're solving major, major questions in evolutionary biology by having these genomic scale information integrated with ecological information, which we can uh, generate you know, much easier than we used to be able to. What's interesting about it is teaching the next generation is a lot is required of the next generation. You have to know genomics, you have to know geology, you have to know ecology, you have to know mathematics, you have to know computer programming, but it's a great adventure because it's all doable. What always ends up happening and what I love about doing science from the, from the stage of putting it together, assembling the team, assembling the data set is once you're done, you're never done. You don't wanna deal with that question like you dealt with it before, because what you now have is an answer that says, all right, I have now about 20 or 30 new questions. 